that awareness. So one of the most important things uh, about child abuse awareness is that people get to know that if you suspect abuse, then report it. Um, you know, I, I can't say enough about the Hadley Police Department, how well they respond to child abuse complaints. They work with DCF and our office and the other professionals. And that's the key uh, to child abuse uh, response is to make sure that we have the full response to the community from DCF to our schools 
Uh, the school departments are critical. Uh, during the time uh, of the pandemic, when it first started, our complaints uh, or our reports of abuse went down 90%. And that was because we didn't have the eyes and ears in the community, you know, from the teachers, the school nurses, to DCF, to other people that, that could see a child and see that maybe they were in distress. So uh, we're very fortunate that things have gotten back to where they should be. And uh, I can't say enough about the community. The community really is what this is all about. It's That's the first response. It's those people in the community that know that something might be going on, but they have to respond and they have to make sure they make that call to DCF or the local law enforcement. So today is a, a real celebration of children in Hampshire County, but also a sobering one knowing that we have uh, abused children in our, in our community that need our help. So thanks again, and I want to introduce uh, Dan Carey. Thank you, Dan. Good to see you all in person and not on Zoom, although, like Kara said, I wish we didn't have to have these types of events. The fact of the matter is that we do. We know one in four, one in six children are abused all over the country. You'd like to think it doesn't happen here. We know thousands of children have gone through the CAC just here in Hampshire County. We know that in Massachusetts, every calendar year, child abuse is reported in each of the 351 cities and towns in Massachusetts. It's a terrible tragedy, but we're lucky in Hampshire County that we've got the support of the CAC, their staff, their board, the district attorney's office, our local first responders that are so professional and so well trained in this area that when I'm at the state house fighting for funding to bring back to Western Mass, people know about our CAC. They know about the work happening out here in Hampshire County and in Western Mass because we do such a great job. So I hope we stop raising these flags someday, but till then I'm so grateful for all that our community does out here in Hampshire County to help these children that are in need. A few years ago, the Hadleytown American flag was fading and ripped. And Dave Nixon and I got a new flag. We flew it over the state house in Boston. We replaced this brand new flag and I think nobody noticed, and that's okay. I tell that story because today, for the next week, next month, however long, we're gonna have this bright red and blue flag up there, and people are gonna notice. That's why this is so important. It may seem like we're just standing outside in the morning hoping it doesn't rain on us. What's the point? Look at all these cars going by. Everybody's gonna look up and say, what's that flag? Kids. I'm going to say, how come there's kids on that flag? Mom, what's that for? And then there's going to be an uncomfortable conversation, a very important and necessary conversation. And that's why these events are so important. That's why these National Awareness Months are so important, because we have this great staff. If you know anyone that's being abused, if you can have that conversation, know the signs, then hopefully we can continue to save more children and help more children. And that's why this is so important and so important that we're all here. So thank you for being here and thank you all for what you're doing each and every day for our children. Thank you. Can I, can I just say one more thing? I know I read the proclamation, but um, having been a nurse for over 50 years, um, I was a mandated reporter. Uh, so I worked at Cooley Dickinson and there were many times between the emergency room or anywhere else that if you felt that somebody was being abused, a child or anyone else, it was your duty to report that. As our police officers, they're, they're mandated. Our school is mandated. But I want to say that each and every one of us, it, you don't have to be a special person to report anything. Everybody is responsible for their neighbors or anybody else, every child or any adult actually too, but we're doing children today. So please, be a mandated reporter, whether or not you're a special person, but everybody is special, so please report anything that you know.